Good morning, Chairwoman Collins, Ranking Member Murray, and distinguished members of the committee. My name is Emily Stenson, and I am here today with my five-year-old daughter, Charlie, to share our family story and to speak to the critical importance of pediatric medical research. I sit before you not only as a mother, but as a witness to what federally supported research can make possible and what it would mean to lose it. Charlie was diagnosed with stage four germ cell cancer in November of 2022, when she was just three years old. After more than a year of unexplained symptoms, doctors discovered a five inch tumor in her belly that had already spread to her liver. Our life changed overnight. We started treatment at a local hospital, but soon transferred to Seattle Children's for specialized care. There, Charlie received high dose chemotherapy and stem cell transplants some of the most advanced pediatric cancer care available. In March of 2024, we heard the words we had prayed so hard for, that Charlie was cancer-free. But just months later, scan showed a relapse. Her baby brother was only two months old when we learned the cancer had returned. Relapse treatment was the hardest stretch yet. Charlie lost weight, she needed a feeding tube, and she battled through brutal side effects. Through it all, Charlie never lost her smile. And today, I'm proud to say that Charlie is again cancer-free. She started preschool in February and is back to the joyful chaos of five-year-old life. Clearly, she loves coloring, playing dress up, and chasing her siblings. These moments aren't guaranteed for any child, but for us, they are made possible because Congress chooses to invest in research. As you can imagine, this road has not been easy. We faced a nationwide chemotherapy shortage, moved our family to Seattle for her safety, and at one point, we were told Charlie might require a full hysterectomy or live with an ostomy bag for the rest of her life, possibilities that were devastating to sit with. Thankfully, neither became a reality. Charlie has fought through a very scary anaphylactic reaction to a medication, a failed extubation after liver surgery that left us terrified, and painful post-surgical complications. These all weren't just medical setbacks. They were moments of deep fear, made survivable only through expert care, resources, and Charlie's incredible bravery. Seattle Children's Leadership and Clinical Trials gave Charlie access to treatments that preserved her hearing, provided fertility preservation methods, and gave her a fighting chance. She received expert care from a leading germ cell cancer specialist, all because of the infrastructure and innovation that only research can provide. Every option we had was built on the courage of families before us, families who participated in studies and fought for funding. Because of their efforts, we had hope, we had choices, and we had a path forward. But not every family gets that. I know parents who were sent home on diagnosis day told simply to make memories. That is a devastating reality and only one that federally funded research can change. Real time advances continue to matter. Charlie's tumor went undetected for so long because she's in the 10% of patients whose tumors don't show up on standard blood tests. But researchers are now developing a groundbreaking test using mRNA to detect relapse early through a simple blood draw. That could be life-saving for kids like mine, and it's possible because of continued research investment. And there is nothing that makes my family more deserving of hope than yours. We aren't any different. And if you were in my shoes, you would want to know that everything possible was being done to save your child or grandchild. Can we confidently say our nation is doing all that it can for our kids? We cannot afford to slow down, not now, not when so many lives hang in the balance. Cuts to medical research are not just numbers on a spreadsheet. They are stolen chances, unfinished stories, and futures left unrealized. Progress in pediatric research is not a luxury, it is a lifeline, and for families like mine, it is deeply personal. That's why I'm asking you today, please continue to fund and prioritize pediatric medical research. Every investment you make saves lives, protects futures, and gives children like Charlie a fighting chance to grow up and thrive. Thank you for the opportunity to share our story, and thank you for your commitment to saving the lives of our nation's children.